Va a ser encantador, ¿eh? Si por pedacito de paraíso te refieres a un mojón de manti, entonces sí. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Ah, me acuerdo. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. Ugh. The lab itself is Dang becoming an infested that. nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight Descansa. through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? I'm a doctor, not a vet. But what's the worst that could happen? I shall leave the details to you. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. And I'd rather not wait another several weeks for Lilia to send your replacement. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode antediluvian on the terminal to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg. The self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. Kill him, run him out. I don't rightly care for the details, so long as Clive knows resistance to me is costly and futile. Hit him where it hurts, in his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. 
He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. ¿Qué misión tengo? How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Won't pretend I'm not disappointed. Suppose I've no choice but to be patient. Maybe a handful of bits will spur you into quicker action. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. And I'll thank you kindly for it. Catherine Malin could sour milk just by glaring at it. I'd have a drink with her. Though I'd keep one hand on my gun and the other on my bit cartridge. Vale. Oh, I beg your pardon. Can you not see I'm walking here? Physically, you mean? In my mind, I have traveled galaxies. Well, it is of no consequence, I assure you. I shall embark shortly with my legs. I'm not entirely decided. If I'm being honest, I think I'd fancy a visit to Tartarus. So long as it's under the shield of my fantastical imagination. Okay. Watch Agent Khan. He's got this ship, right? The Invincible. And we got a ship, right? So I got to thinking, who would win in a race? The Invincible or the Unreliable? Felix, you watch too many movies. Adventure serials are my education. Where else am I supposed to learn how to kick a jackass? Um.
Venga. Morete. Que no me interesa para nada, tío. No, pero es que con esto puede tener una ventaja. No me interesan las ventajas. No hay ninguna así que diga, wow. ¿Sabes? No quiero que muera este personaje.
word, if I may be so bold? Sí, sí, ya voy. Well, now, wait a minute. I still hear those sores crying across the way. How is it you're here and they're still alive? Evidently so, stranger. I don't suppose you'd mind stopping a minute and helping me out? Those beasts don't seem to want to leave. I'm of the mind they need forceful convincing. Ah, well, if I'm able to make it back to Amber Heights to resupply, I could sell you a thing or two at a discount. You find yourself wandering the wilderness, low on ammunition and the like? Well, might be you'd find that useful. Esto es una mierda. Ahí es donde le duele. Vale. 